I've been following English design for a while now and I'm seeing some exciting changes come out of London design houses that I am really looking forward to sharing with you today because we can bring them into our own spaces. English design historically is the ultimate comfort. There are lots of patterns, wallpapers, stripes, colors, things that are either bright to the eye or comforting and compact. Some of these spaces are the perfect place to spend the holidays and um, others are the perfect place to curl up and read a book. However, I am seeing so many updates come in from London Design Houses as we bring in English design style in an updated way. So for starters, English design has always incorporated gorgeous antique wallpapers. So we're continuing to see that. However, now instead of having a traditional floral pattern, this could go to the max of like de Gourney French wallpaper, or it could um, incorporate more um, whimsical patterns, like something you might see from House of Hackney. Um, so with this in mind, you could see that at every part of the space has been wallpapered so that it creates that compact, cozy feel. So this is a nod to the historical, but also it has an updated look and feel because for so long, our spaces have not included um, wallpaper. So definitely check out um, some of the wallpaper vendors I've listed below and incorporate it in your space. This is kind of the first principle of English design updated by London Design Houses. So secondly, um, my favorite addition to the um, new English design spaces are these big bold stripes on um, furniture. So I'm thinking about one furniture piece in particular, which is this big, fluffy, comfy armchair. I'm dying to get this piece. And what you'll see is that this is kind of a play on the traditional English stripes motif. So traditionally, the English stripes um, that you may see on pillows or furniture are these tight little pinstripes and they're gorgeous, I love them. But what is fun about incorporating both um, the more traditional elements like the tiny pinstripes and these big bold stripes on furniture pieces is that is a nod to the whimsical and also is kind of a fun play, a little cheeky play on um, updating English design. So this is my dream chair. Um, please gift it to me. I would like it very much and um, we will move on to the next. So the next thing that I find very exciting about updated English design brought to us by London Design Houses is having very traditional furniture incorporated with postmodern or mid-century inspired lighting. So this is extremely beautiful to me because I love the whimsy that postmodern brings. It's funny, it has a great sense of humor, and I do find that more traditional English patterns have like, they, while they are lovely, they are a little serious because of the historical connotations. So it is kind of the best of all worlds when you have more traditional design pieces like a big fluffy chair, chair or a, um, you know, beautiful skirted couch paired with a like very, um, uh, very like fun little sconce that is from postmodern, like, you know, something an artist created. This pairing of the old and the new is what makes your space look like it was designed by a designer. So that's a little hack, a little tip for you. Moving on to the next, which is still keeping antique hardware. Mm, okay, so when you are designing a new space, it is tempting to start Googling what hardware matches my space. Bronze, brass, black um, hardware. Uh, it's just all very new looking. And while I appreciate the convenience, I don't appreciate it being honest, <laughs> I don't appreciate it. <laughs> so what London design houses are doing very well is they're keeping and incorporating older hardware that is a nod to the past. 
So if you have a space like mine from the 19, 90s and there was never a vintage hardware to begin with to bring a little bit of charm into your space you can update your hardware and what i mean are like your doorknobs your um, handles on your cabinets with vintage pieces or sets that you find um, online and all right i could go on all day but i am gonna leave one more tip for you that english design does so well it's gonna be two, a two for one, okay? At first, it's color. <laughs> she used her thumb. And the second thing is pattern. So what English design has always done so well is mixing different patterns. Don't be afraid to mix like a more updated pattern with a vintage pattern. And you can do this with your throw pillows, with your bedding, um, with a throw over a pattern um, couch. And if you need a little bit of help around how to layer patterns, this is really where a designer can be very helpful. Um, but if you have a knack for it, it's a beautiful look. And finally, color. And this is something that English design does really, really well. They will pick one color and they will paint the entire room that color and run with it. So um, this is a great place to incorporate bright colors is in English design. That is where I will wrap us up today. London design houses are bringing magic to English design. And if this is a design style you resonate with as well, please reach out. Um, I am booking clients and I would love to work with you at Rachel Petrie Interiors on your budget. So definitely check me out at Instagram um, and my website and we'll get to talking in a free 15 minute discovery call. So thanks for tuning in and I will talk with you all next time.